Hello everyone, welcome to Mosaic Moments. I'm Paige and today I will be showing you how to create a fun layout with the fishy and beachcombers die sets. So as you can see, most of my page is already completed and I will be adding the beachcombers during this video. Uh, so before we get started, I have a question. Would you like to see more videos where I make an entire layout during the video? If so, you can vote yes in the comments on our YouTube channel and you're also welcome to give any ideas of videos you would like to see. So don't forget to comment after you watch this video. So we're going to get started by introducing you to the die sets. All right, first up is the fish shape border, which is really cute. I love all the little fishes. And this is the Beachcombers die set, which I am loving so far. Today we're only going to be using the 1x3 and 1x2 dies from the set and we're going to have a lot of fun today, so keep watching. Today we're starting off with the 1x2 die from Beachcombers set, so I'm going to show you how to get this fun look. First I need to use the die machine to cut my Beachcombers die, so I rolled it through and I'm going to save the uh, part that fits on the grid. I use my tweezers to get it out and there it is. Next I'm cutting into a darker shade of paper. This time I'm only going to take a few pieces from the shell design to alternate between colors. Uh, I recommend you getting the largest piece as I'm doing now. You'll need your tweezers definitely to get these out. Um, so right here I'm taking the largest piece and then next I'm going to take the one that's right before the smallest on the design and I'm going to do it again on the other side and I'm actually going to cut this color twice and you'll see why in a moment when we get to the page. Alright so I have all my pieces cut and right now just really quickly I'm um, I wanted some a little more contrast a little more interest on my dye so I'm just using this chalk ink. Uh, to give it a nice distressed look. I think it fits with the beach theme. Just a little something to add and enhance your dyes. And I use the Xyron sticker machine to, it's just so much easier to glue it down sometimes with that. So now the glue's already on the back and I can place it right on the grid paper. And as you can see, I could keep it like this. I love the wood grain popping through the die. And I'm gonna actually keep it that way. Um, but I'm also going to add my dark pieces too in a moment. I'm starting to put in the little tiny pieces from the shell design. And as you can see, I'm putting in the biggest piece first. And um, I use my Xyron sticker machine to make them sticky. It's a little more difficult to put glue on the back of these. And the tweezers are really handy for the teeny little pieces. Uh, they're probably the most hardest to put in, but so I'm glad I have the tweezers to hold on, get a good grip on them really. And so that's the first layer. And it looks really nice the way it is. I really like seeing the wood grain and the dark pieces together. But now just to give a little more interest, I'm actually adding a second layer of the dark pieces on top and then it'll just give it a little more of a, a thicker look. Um, it gives a little more dimension. I kind of discovered this by accident actually before I did this video. I was like, oh, that's kind of neat. <laughs> so you can see I'm using my tweezers again for these tricky little pieces. And I'm gonna show you real quick how, hopefully you can see through the video that it's a little bit thicker than the rest of the die so it's just a neat idea and that's my shell and I really like it and I'm gonna do it twice more to complete my page so the first half of my layout is all done I really like the shells it's a pretty simple layout with that's mainly of photos and I really like how the shells are just a nice beachy embellishment for this page so the part for my second layout is kind of a surprise as you can see, there are two spaces that need to be filled. Um, so for this layout, I'm going to be using the fishy border die. I haven't practiced this idea, so we'll both see how it all turns out. 
First, I'm making a background piece with the 1x4 die from set D. Now I'm using the fishy border die to cut a piece of card stock, rolling it through the machine, and this time I'm going to save the um, frame piece along with all the little fishes that come with the die. So saved all the little fishies, aren't they cute? Now I'm using the fishy border die for a third time and I'm cutting it with a darker shade of card stock. This time I am only going to save the fishes. <laughs> so I like using my tweezers to poke them out really quickly. And there's my little fishes. So I'm using my Mosaic Moments mat to trim down the fishy border die. Um, you can watch a video about using the mat on our YouTube channel if you want to learn more about it. So I'm going to uh, cut where the four is. This is the back of the mat, by the way. Uh, the lines are there to help you cut it to the sizing of the grid paper. And now it's a one by four shape, which is what I need for my layout. So you can always trim it down if it, the die is too long for your layout. So I just want to show you real quick what you can do with this piece. I am able to line it up right on the grid paper and the grid lines don't show through and I actually like the wood grain look going through the fish. So this is just one idea, but I'm going to do something else today. So I'm going to take this off. So instead I'm going to place my background piece on the grid paper. I used the basic die set to cut this and I also put chalk ink on here. And now I'm going to put on my fishy border. And now you could also leave it like this if you didn't want to use the grid paper background. And now I'm going to fill it in with my fishes. I use my Zyron sticker machine to make them sticky on the back. And as you can see, I'm alternating between the dark brown and the medium brown. And so it's nice to have the border die so you can line them up straight. So I could leave the fish like this within the border, but now I'm going to actually take the border off and as you can see it gives a different look. Um, what I like here is it looks like you took a lot of time to make those fish straight, <laughs> but you don't have to. So that's one look you can do with the fishy border die and I really like it here. It looks like you took more time than you actually did. <laughs> so now I'm going to finish off my page by doing the same exact steps again on the top right of this layout. So I have one last tip and I'm going to use the starfish die from the beachcomber set this time. I'm rolling it through the machine and I'm going to use my tweezers to poke the little stars out because that's the only part I'm going to be using on my page, but obviously you can use the frame on the grid paper as well. So this is actually the full page right here, and you can see the result of the fishy border die. Uh, so far it looks good. I'm just going to add my little starfish in a few different places like I'm doing right now. Uh, so what I like about the starfish die and the fishy die, you can do the same thing with you can use them as extra little embellishment pieces. I haven't glued them down yet, so it's really easy to just move them around until you're happy with the result. Such as right here, I'm lining the starfish because there's some extra space in, the, in between the photo and the card stock. And I just want to see how what I think of it. And if I don't like it, I can move it to somewhere else like I'm doing now. So. I kind of like where the starfish are going now because I'm putting them in the corners where the photos are lighter in color and that makes the starfish pop a lot more. So I'm going to glue these down and then my page is finished. So I know this was a little bit longer of a video but I hope you learned a lot about the fishy border and the beach combers dye and hopefully you'll have a lot of fun using them at home and don't forget to vote yes or no if you want to see more videos where I make an entire layout. So see you next time. Thanks for watching and see more on mosaicmoments.com.